Hello everyone welcome back to yet another learning video today we are going to learn about the gmp updates of july and august 2022 before we begin let me tell you one thing that this is our first video on the gmp updates and farmapil channel has decided to bring gmp updates of previous month in the very first week of every month we will try to bring the updates which are important for every pharma professional so with this note let's get started today's video So the very first GMP update is related to European GMP and Exor One has been revised and uh, was published on the twenty fifth of August twenty twenty two. Now, if you are thinking that what is an Exor One of European GMP, so guys, an Exor One of the European GMP is a guideline for the manufacturing of sterile medicinal products, or I can say that an Exor One of European GMP is applicable to injectables. So guys an exer one will be come in force from 25th of August 2023 means deadline for full implementation of the exer one is 25th of August 2023 which means all the injectable facilities which are manufacturing injectables for the european countries they need to fulfill the recommendations mentioned in the revised version of an exer one by the end of 25th of August 2023 now comes the second gmp update So this GMP update is related to the ICHQ9 guideline. So guys, US FDA has published the draft version of ICHQ9 R1 guideline on their website for the public comments. For those who don't know, title of the ICHQ9 guideline is Quality Risk Management, and this guideline was first time made effective in the year 2005. Last year in November 2021 ICH Q9 was taken for the revision and ICH has released draft version of ICH Q9 R1 for the public comments in November 2021 So this was the second GMP update Now comes the GMP update number 3 This update is related to nitrosamine impurities So guys European Medicines Agency has extended the deadline for the submission of variations from 26th of September 2022 to 1st of October 2023 Now let me tell you the background of this update so that you can understand this GMP update easily So in 2019 European Medicines Agency told all the pharma manufacturers to start reviewing all their products for the presence of nitrosamine impurities and this review was proposed for those medicinal products which were synthesized chemically now to carry out this review activity ema european medicines agency proposed a three step approach now let us see what were those three steps the very first step those pharma companies which were marketing medicines in the european market has to perform risk analysis at api or at finished product level and the risk analysis was proposed to assess potential risk of the contamination of medicinal products with nitrosamine impurities second step after doing the risk analysis if risk is identified in the first step then confirmatory test should be carried out and the aim of the confirmatory test should be to confirm the presence of nitrosamine impurities and quantify those nitrosamine impurities step number 3 if presence of the nitrosamines is confirmed during the second step then marketing authorization holder or we can say that the pharma company which is marketing the drug or the medicines must take effective measures to reduce the risk and whatever the steps taken need to be submitted to EMA using the appropriate variations now this gmp update number 3 is related to this variation only where timeline for the submission of variations was September 2022 now it has been extended till 1st of October 2023 hope you have understood this update now now comes the gmp update number 4 this update is related to gam5 guideline so guys second edition of the gam5 guideline has been released in the last week of july 2022 Those who don't know GAM5 is a globally accepted standard for the validation of computerized systems and the full form of GAM is good automated manufacturing practice ISPE publishes this guideline and the full form of ISPE is International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering So guys previous version of the GAM guideline was 5 and it was available in the several languages since 2008 Well friends as you might be aware of the fact that in recent years IT has made a significant presence in the pharma industry 
so it was necessary to update gamp guideline so this is the reason gamp 5 has been revised and published as a second edition in the last week of july 2022 those who want the revised version of the GAM 5 second edition, they can get it from the ISPE website. Now comes the GMP update number 5. So this update is related to the European Pharmacopoeia. So guys, 11th edition of the European Pharmacopoeia was made available from July 2022. The latest edition consists of the updated monographs which will be implemented on 1st of Jan 2023. Let me tell you some of the key facts about the European Pharmacopoeia. So 11th edition of the European Pharmacopoeia contains 2469 monographs including doses forms, 386 general texts including general monographs and the method of analysis, and more than 2800 descriptions of the reagents. And one more important point you can remember about the European Pharmacopoeia that is European Pharmacopoeia is revised after every three years. Now comes the GMP update number 6 and this update is related to the US FDA. So guys US FDA in the month of July 2022 has published a draft guideline on remote regulatory assessment. This draft guideline consists of question and answers related to RRA that is remote regulatory assessment. Well friends as we know that during the pandemic there were restrictions on the travel from one country to another country because of which FDA was not able to conduct sufficient number of audits. Just to avoid similar situation, FDA has come up with this guideline that is remote regulatory assessment. Now the question arises that what is a remote regulatory assessment? So answer to the question is remote regulatory assessment is an examination of FDA approved plants or its records conducted entirely remotely. And this examination is to be done to evaluate the compliance with the applicable FDA requirements. So these were the GMP updates for the month of July and August 2022. Before we wind up today's video, let us quickly recall all the updates one by one. Update number one. European GMP and exa number one has been revised and was published on 25th of August 2022. Anexa one is a GMP for manufacturing of sterile medicinal products. Update number 2. US FDA has published draft of ICHQ9 R1 guideline on their website for the public comments. Update number 3. European Medicine Agency has extended the deadline for the submission of variations related to nitrosamine impurities from 26th of September 2022 to 1st of October 2023. Update number 4. Second edition of GAM5 guideline has been released in the last week of July 2022. Those who don't know, GAM5 is a globally accepted standard for the validation of computerized systems. Update number 5. The 11th version of the European Pharmacopoeia was published in July 2022 and it will be implemented from 1st of Jan 2023. Update number 6. US FDA has published a draft guideline on the remote regulatory assessment in the July 2022. So these were the GMP updates for the month of July and August 2022, which every pharma professional must and should be aware of. So hope you have learned something new today. Bye bye and happy learning.